This all began back in 1963 with the centennial celebration for the state of West Virginia. And one of the things that was decided to be done for that centennial celebration was to have a science camp for uh, science honor students all around the country. And so two students called delegates from all 50 states, high school students, were selected and came to the mountains of West Virginia where they had a science camp. And that program has continued ever since. And in 2022, we rebranded to be the National Youth Science Academy and are working on building out our campus here in Tucker County. So I'm sitting inside of our 25,000 square foot research and education facility. And one of the reasons we were so excited to acquire this facility is all the different things that we're able to do with it. Our facility is only steps away from the Blackwater River and nestled within the heart of the Highlands Trail Network, which connects us to neighboring state and federal publicly accessible land. We have a 150 person capacity conference hall, multiple meeting spaces, offices, multiple labs, a greenhouse with a farming robot, and a makerspace full of 3D printers, the CNC routers you can see behind me, and all kinds of other things to allow our program participants to follow makerspace principles of dream it, design it, and make it. We currently have three main lab spaces. One lab space is set up as a computer lab. We also have a teaching lab, which has sinks at every bench and lots of different uh, pieces of equipment for students to use to learn and do hands-on science activities, including things like microscopes and rock tumblers and uh, kits to teach concepts about things like snow and water and nature in our local environment. We also have a analytical lab with a fume hood and chemical storage and opportunities to really grow that space into a more robust analytical facility. One of the events that we've had there annually for the past few years that I'm really excited about is our Bright Challenge, which stands for Bringing Rural Imagination to Technology and Entrepreneurship, where students from the local six county Eastern Panhandle region are invited to come up with a business idea or invention or other entrepreneurial endeavor, ideally utilizing makerspace technology as provided by us or that they've seen demonstrated here at the center and present their business idea or innovation to a panel of local judges, receive feedback on that project, get awarded fabulous prizes and have an engaging keynote from a local STEM leader. It's been an awesome project that's been a wonderful way to engage students in the community and get them excited about how they can contribute their own ideas to make their community a better place. We've partnered with West Virginia Science Adventures to provide really fun and engaging STEAM summer camp programs all around the state, including here at the center in Tucker County. These camps cover a variety of topics such as Lego robotics, microbiology, coding, and the wonders of water, complete with a paid for lunch, lots of cool fun field trips, lots of great activities, and a wonderful sense of community all around the state. In 2022, we named Dennis Schatz our alum of the year. Dennis was a delegate from Colorado in 1965, who has since gone on to have a long and illustrious career in informal science education, including the idea of Monday Night Science. The vision of Monday Night Science is that families will rush home together at the end of the day, and instead of crowding around the TV just to watch something, they would participate in a STEM activity together. To make that vision a reality, we are fortunate to have funding from the Benetton Foundation and our partners, the Tucker County Family Resource Network, to provide twice monthly Monday night science activities here at the center of the Davis campus. We provide a hot meal, a fun STEM activity in person while we're all together, and then we send the families home with a science kit so that they can continue to work on science activities with their caregivers for the rest of the week. We love it because one, it makes it easy night for me. I don't have to worry about dinner. And then my kids have a blast hanging with other kids and they learn something too. Somebody was talking about salamanders, and my kids talked about salamanders for a week straight after that. One night we got to play with the turtles, pretty fun. Definitely had some sharp claws. Well, first off, she loves to come up and see all of the animals that they have here. You know, she has to stay high to the fish, the turtles, and everything else. She loves the robotics, and that kind of flipped a switch with her after coming up here and having a really good time in the maker space that they have here. I liked the one that they did tonight, it was pretty fun. So one inside that igloo with the, that tells you about the stars. I love space. I really like the science boxes. One thing I'm thankful about the program and the benefit of is, is it's geared towards the children and it's very hands-on and it's not just them sitting down and listening to someone talk, it's actually them then getting to um, do those projects hands-on. I think through it, a few of my children have decided that they love science and want to start pursuing that even more. 
In order to facilitate even more programming, we are working to develop our campus here in Tucker County to include residential facilities and a dining hall, such that we can eventually relocate the National Youth Science Camp from Pocahontas County to right here in Tucker. With the increased capacity provided by residential facilities, we'll be able to offer year-round STEM programming to local families in the region, including things like week-long STEM camps, family retreats, and other events that people in the region and beyond can come and enjoy. As a nonprofit, we rely on the generosity of donors, grants, and other funding sources to make our programming a reality. We couldn't do this work without the generous support from folks who are willing to donate both their time and their funding, as well as the granting agencies that make specific programs possible. We have made a lot of progress so far and are really excited about what we still have left to do. We want this to be a space where anyone can come, get excited about STEAM, know that they're welcome, or even just use our parking lot to go for a hike on our awesome trails. If you've never visited us before, we would love to see you, so don't hesitate to come by and say hello.